Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm gonna take you guys into the audio effects folder inside Logic Pro, uh, and we're gonna bring up a plugin called Distortion 2. Uh, basically, it acts the same as Distortion, uh, but it's just a little bit different. That's why they call it the 2. Um, uh, I'm gonna basically take take you guys into it, show you guys what kind of options the plugin has to offer, uh, and talk to you guys a little bit about it. Uh, so if you're a beginner, where you're gonna find your audio effects is is you're gonna click the I with the circle on top. We're gonna go down to audio effects. Well, first you pick the track. As you can see, this one says flashback choir. It says flashback choir, but whatever. I'm just uh, I'm just doing a little tutorial right here, so don't follow me. Just just watch how I open the, the plugin. So I'm gonna go down to distortion. Go down to distortion two. And open it up. It's gonna look a little something like this. So now you have a pregame button. You have the drive and tone like the like the first one. You also have presets. You can click on nasty. You can go bitty. You can go growl. You can go class A, uh, B hard, class A, B uh, soft. But um, basically, that's gonna that's gonna address what kind of sound you want on it. Uh, you got your pre uh, pre gain and you got your drive. This is how much it's gonna distort it. And then you can also uh, you also have a. Uh, Controllability over the the tone this time. So this one gives you a bit more uh, than than the normal distortion. I suggest you guys uh, go in, throw it on a track, play around with it, see what kind of effects you get. Hopefully they'll great, they'll be great. Uh, if you guys can't uh, uh, quite kick at it, later on in my future videos, I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, how I use this to get the best effects out of it. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and please subscribe.